Hey ladies and gents, it's in spades here, and we're going to take a little tour around Charon for the survival game mode. So, first thing you do when you spawn is you want to shoot out these grates and grab whatever weapons you can find there. Usually you get a laser upgrade and a Vulcan cannon. So I'm just going to continue to shoot out grates, and yes, there's evil bots coming to shoot me, but the heck with them. I don't care about them. Where are they, anyhow? Anywho, I'm going to keep blowing up these grates because they hide power-ups that are going to be pretty handy. And I thought I saw the bot right there, so... That's that. Now, the thing is, while killing all these bots is pretty fun, it isn't really going to progress you in the game mode too much. You want to sort of hang out in these glowy pink boxes until they turn completely blue. And as I do, you're probably going to notice that red bar in the top right is going to start filling up. You want to stay in this pink box until it turns blue or when that gauge fills all the way up. And while you're doing that, these guys are going to try and stop you. All right. So, that's our first wave completed. And that's pretty much how it is. There's just waves and waves of this. It's kind of like a wave defense with domination style or capture point style gameplay modes that you may have played before. It's a mix of the two. All right, so now, next place to go is warehouse. Now, as you exit that spawn, first thing you get to is administration, which is this area here. I'm going to deal with these bots real quick. Vulcan's pretty strong early on. You may want to give that to your best player or somebody who's flying a... like an ability-intensive ship, like maybe Panzer or Shaman, because they need their energy. But anywho, enough babbling. Let's go to warehouse because we ain't going nowhere until then. So yeah, you may have noticed throughout all this that I keep killing these guys, but they keep coming back. It doesn't matter if you capture the point or you don't capture the point. If you kill all the bots, another wave will spawn. So you kind of want to progress through the waves as quickly as possible because, well, they're just fighting bots for no reason. All right, so I'm capturing the warehouse, FAC, as they call it. The FAC. Incoming All right, so this is, this is where it may get a little tricky. Sometimes as you're trying to capture, a bunch of bots will spawn all around you, and that's really kind of stinks because it's really hard to not get hit in such a situation. In fact, in later stages, it's in your interest to just run like crazy because you just can't fight that. You're gonna die. Doesn't matter how good you dodge, you're just gonna die. Okay, so I got a little caught up with that. So we are in the warehouse area. Like, this is a tunnel going back to the way we came in administration. So, we're going to Warehouse, and now we need to go to Warren's. Now, to get the Warren's from Warehouse, you can just take this hallway. Also, a cool little note is, in the first two waves, the robots will just shoot at you with their lasers. But starting Wave 3, they'll start to shoot missiles. So, you want to keep an eye out for that, because those missiles really hurt. All right, so let's go to Warren's. It's like a cramped little claustrophobic area. Oh, and there's another grate to shoot. Inside, there's a few more things you can grab. It's always good to keep tabs on those because you want to keep as many power-ups for yourself as you can. Besides, they come back to, well, they don't come back to life. Like, the laser cannon reincarnates into, I don't know, a Glock? I have no idea. But yeah, the power-ups respawn. So, the more you grab them, the more benefit they give you over time. So, that's a good thing to keep in mind. 
Oh. Don't like shooting me in the butt. I don't like getting shot in the butt. Right, so this is Warren's, like this big, bright yellow room. There goes another bot. I really should use my turret a little more. It comes in pretty handy in these games. I think I'm going to drop a turret here. Especially because there's an extra right here. And I'm just going to be on my way. I'm going to let the turret deal with him. Alright, so now we need to get the pyramid. Now, as you're leaving Warren's, you just take this shaft straight down. This long curved shaft. To the long curved shaft. Uh, and go through this door right here. And like a lot of stuff is actually labeled and has nice big signs, so... Even if you forget most of this, just keep looking at the signs and just keep following. If you don't see the signs of what you're looking for, just go anywhere and in the next zone there'll surely be a sign to get where you want. Okay, now. Right now I'm gonna split the capture zone because the bots spawn all around me and I really don't want to fight them all while I'm completely surrounded. That's just not gonna work out. Now try and kill these predators quick because they have Vulcan cannons and those things hurt a lot more and will hit you much more frequently than just the stock laser guns that the rest of the bots have. Gotta open these grates. And while I'm in Pyramid, there's actually quite a few power-ups to be had here. Oh, hello. Did you run out of energy or something or are you just bugged? Anyway. Have a flare. It actually works out nicely because I wanted to show off some of the places in Pyramid you can get power-ups from. There's a secret door here that usually has a bunch of things. Sometimes it has smart missiles. Very handy. And there's uh, the left pit here, which has a crate you can blow up. Oh, another turret, sure. Which usually has smart missile or some other form of missile. And then there is the right pit which has pretty much the same. In the later stages, you can usually find a Mega Missile either here or here, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. So, I'm just gonna capture it. I'm kind of enjoying the peace and quiet. So, uh, how's stuff? Like, flying around this Charon place. Hmm, guess he's not much for conversation. So hopefully I capture it before the next wave spawns in. There we go. One good thing to keep in mind is at the end of every wave, you will get all of your health back and some of your shields. And that's pretty handy because say I'm pretty beat up and I'm desperate for shields but I already killed everything, I may want to focus on capturing the zone first and then grab the shields. I'll have Incoming. more shields at the end of all that than before by just gunning for the shields and then focusing on the capture. Alright, so we made it to wave 5, and what that means is we get to fight Incendius. Now, he is the boss of Charon, or I guess a uh, senior manager or CEO, or I guess he's assistant manager, I don't know. I guess he flew off somewhere. Like, if you look at the radar in the bottom right... I mean, not bottom, right? In the bottom center, you can see that little diamond sort of moving around on its own. Yeah, the cool thing about the Incendius is that it shows up on radar no matter where it is in the level. So if you need to hunt it down, you'll be able to find it easy. Now, here he is. Now, that gun of his looks pretty intimidating, but it's actually a reskinned plasma cannon. It still hurts, but it's not any more harmful than the plasma. All right, so... The cool thing about Incendius is that he usually drops a key. Now, he can usually drop, well, the only keys he can drop are the blue, yellow, and red keys. So, as we flew out, you may have noticed we have these colored doors. So, yeah, you grab a key, you shoot the door, it's unlocked for the rest of the game. Make sure to tell your teammates too, because more armed teammates 
is usually a good thing. Especially in the later games. You don't want to be doing all the work. Alright, so after the first boss, instead of capturing one zone, we now have to capture two zones. And it'll progress all the way up to four in the very late stages, so... Let's get to work on that. So let's see, Warrens and Pyramid. So we could either start with Warrens or we could start with Pyramid. And I think we'll start with Warrens just because I don't really feel like fighting just yet. So I'm gonna go up here. Oh, my turret's still here from before. That's handy. And so there's a box there. So let's shoot it and homing missiles. And that'll come in handy, because I'm probably going to use quite a few in a bit once the bots come on to me. Because, you know, I find bots pretty attractive. The Warrens what? They're pretty attractive. You don't agree? So we got Warrens, and now we're going to swing around the pyramid. And that didn't seem too hard. I mean, ideally, you get the bots to sort of chase you around the level. This way you don't have to fight them while you're trying to capture the point. Because, scenario A, you kill all the bots, a new wave of bots spawns, and now you have a bunch of trouble. Other scenario, they kill you. So, you really want to just have them chasing you around the level. And it's not that hard starting out after the first boss, but once you get to wave 10, it starts to get a lot trickier, especially since bot bots I got some sort of accent now. The bots will spawn in two separate locations. Like before, they would only spawn in one zone. Now they'll spawn in multiple zones, even. Alright, so now we have to capture administration and warrants. So I'm gonna heck at these bots here. Oh, and those bots there. Like I just said, they'll spawn in multiple areas. And I'm gonna have them chase me into warehouse because, well... Warehouse isn't up for capture on this wave, so I don't really care if the bots own this zone. So I'm just going to hit the Warrens. And it should be an easy cap since the bots are all the way on the other side of the level. Let's get some elevator music going. Because I'm cheap, so I don't have any music. There's a smart missile light show. Ooh. There you go. All right, so we got warrants. Let's go to administration. Oops. Oh well. Just so you know, that's a dead end with an energy center. Good to know. Just don't get stuck in there if there are bots around. So easy to get trapped. Here? No. Like you, at this stage, you want to sort of like creep out a little and see if there's bots in the area. Just because you may just decide to afterburn in and there's five bots in there and they'll just shoot you the heck before you can even react. Oh, there's a box there. Let's shoot that and just a proximity mine. Although I'm going to grab it anyway, just because if there's a power-up in the place where the box is supposed to spawn, it's not going to allow another box to spawn, and that kind of stinks. Because that could be uh, a fresh smart missile or mega missile or quad laser that you could have gotten from that box. Speaking of which, we have the red key. And the yellow key. I guess for some reason if you get the red key, it also by default gives you yellow. Just two for one sale. Oh, and there's a fusion. Incoming now, missile. unlike the yellow and blue doors, the red door is directly underneath where you spawn. I'm going to be quick about it because the bots can come in here and trap you. And I think there's already... Oh, speaking of which... Yikes. 
Alright, I'm dropping the turret and I'm just unloading. Oh man, that turret. Oh. Alright, so they left me an opening and I'm just taking it because I probably would have died. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, you just, in general, don't want to linger in any area for too long. Especially in the later waves, because you can get trapped. Are they going to come through? Oh, they're coming in. Maybe I can capture Pyramid before they see me, hopefully. Nice. Alright, I'm out. I think that stinks though, is like I accidentally led them right into warehouse, so they're gonna come this way, so I'm gonna try and make them go the other way. I want them to stay away from warehouse, because I want to capture that. So I'm gonna let them blindly chase me a little. And while they're chasing a the ghost, I'm gonna start capturing. Alright, nice. I should be able to get this, no problem. So once I capture a warehouse, I'll show you another few areas that you can get stuff in. Like, usually there's two boxes that spawn there and where that energy pickup is. Excuse me. Warehouse nano factory. Offline. All and then there is this pit where you can get another two boxes and a missile pickup here. Pretty handy. But you know what? This kind of stinks because I have a fusion cannon, and because I can't pick that up, that's going to block any boxes from spawning. So that really stinks. I'm going to be down a box. Alright, so I don't know where they're spawning from yet. Alright, so we're starting from there, and I think I'll go to Warren's first. See if there's anything down here. Sure. Laser grid and a few other useful gadgets. I'll take it. So I'm going to put a turret watching this zone. So as soon as someone comes out of there, the turret's going to start shooting. Also give me a heads up. And I'm also going to keep an eye on this hatch in the ceiling right here. Or at least or a hatch in the floor or a hatch in the ceiling if you're a flow, bo flow, flow below. Flow. Forgot to speak all of a sudden. Floor below. Floor below. Floor. <sighs> My English fails me sometimes. Alright, so. Oh, I went the wrong way. That goes to Pyramid. Well, while I'm here, might as well open that up. So let's go to Administration. This long, curvy green tunnel. Now, let's... Oh, there's bots in the area. So, I want to make them chase me somewhere else. Alright, so now they see me. Oh, wow, that's a lot of them. Alright, so they're all going to chase me. Which is fine. I want them to chase me to the pyramid because I got nothing going on here, really. Maybe shoot a flare or two just to piss them off. And I'm going to start the cap on administration. So yeah, and this, this pretty much keeps going on and on until you just get overwhelmed by the bots or you get unlucky and run face first into a triple frag cannon typhoon. Yeah, the typhoons start spawning soon. I think at wave 10 they start coming in. But that's generally how survival works. Yeah, so that's all there is to it, really. I mean, if you liked what you saw, maybe throw it a quick like, maybe subscribe. That'd be kind of cool. Just as a grand finale, let's see if we can get a nice, crazy fight going. Sure, why not? Oh, 
Oh, you don't want to stay still for these fights. Not at all. You stay still for a split second and that's that. Let's see, still have some health, but that predator is a problem. Oh, there's an incendius. How could I forget? You get a boss every five waves. All right, grab a shield or two. Drop a turret to point up at him, just to give me some support. Nice. Drop a yellow key. Doesn't really help me much. And that's that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And I guess I will see you later.